Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in today. So right off the bat, I just want to be honest, I have a little bit of a bummer. Um, the first portion of the video I was going to post today was showcasing all the follow track modes and the special one shot skills that this thing has um, available. But all the audio from that got completely ruined um, from the wind noise. It was really windy yesterday and I guess something was wrong with my connection on my mic on the GoPro. I have an external mic and something was wrong with that and it just kind of ruined it all. So I could try to post it, but it wouldn't be very enjoyable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and postpone that part till next Tuesday. So today's video is gonna be about 10 minutes long. It's gonna be showcasing the um, app, all the settings you can change in the app, different settings for this in video and photo mode, the beacon, how to use the beacon, as well as the controller. And I'm gonna take a few photos just to kind of show you guys what that looks like. Um, so I'm really sorry about the mix up. Next Tuesday, I'm gonna have a video showcasing all of the motion tracking modes and the one shot skills. So I think that'll be really cool. And I'm actually kind of stoked it's gonna break it up a little bit more. So I'll do a better job with that. I learned a lot from this project. But with that being said, this video is gonna kick off and we're basically gonna be sitting in the shade um, and going through the app and kind of showcasing what the app shows and all that good stuff. So let's start. Three, two, one, go. All right, so now you're seeing what the drone is actually seeing. Um, I had to put it outside so that it would think that I was about to launch it to access all the settings. But basically, you go into here, Right now it's showing the drone, you have a height floor option so you can make it so that it doesn't go below 8 feet to the ground, so you can turn that on or off. Then you can look at your phone, you have different default settings for the joysticks, so defaults here, I actually prefer this one um, when I'm uh, piloting with the, just the phone app. Aside from that, you go into this little box and then it shows you all your video settings. So first and foremost you have uh, 1080p or 4K. In 1080p, you can do 30 FPS, you can do 60 FPS, 120 FPS. In 4K, you can do 24, 30, 48, and 60. I usually film 4K 60. Then you have HDR, on or off. Then recording, you can set it as auto record or manual record with the um, shutter. So I usually just use auto record as soon as the drone starts flying, it'll uh, start recording. Then you have your codec setting, so H2.64, or you can set it in uh, H2.65. And then, as far as these settings, you have your white balance, you can do auto, or you can um, adjust it. Same with shutter speed, auto, or you can adjust it. And then your ISO, so auto, or you can adjust it. And then you have your uh, exposure compensation right there. So, I always just have all those in auto, just because it's easy. Then, when you go to photo mode here, you have white balance again, shutter speed, ISO, and your comp. You can adjust all those manually. There's a timer here, so you can do intervals, um, and then you can do HDR on or off, or you can do JPEG or RAW. So, those are your options there. All right, and then now we're going to go into this screen, so in the Discover tab. So, this is where you have like your getting started, your safety guide, your skills right here, which will kind of um, open up a web page that shows you all of those things that we shot earlier. Then, let's go back to Skydio 2. Then you can access your drone here. So you can go in here, manage your data. You can format stuff here. All right, cool. So now that we went over all the settings on the phone app, let's go ahead and uh, pull the beacon out. So I have the beacon ready right here. And we're going to launch this guy up in the air. So it's starting here. And I'll kind of show you guys what the beacon does and all the little things it's displaying here. So first and foremost, I just press start. It takes a second. It kind of um, runs through this little procedure. Then you hold this to fly, flying in three, two, one. So the drone's actually out here. Let's go outside. All right, cool. So now they got the beacon out here and the drone's up in the air. I'm gonna show you guys what it's displaying. So right here is the follow wheel. If I press stop, it'll go to hover mode. Then you have options to do that fixed track mode or you can do um, manual pilot, like steer mode. So if I press these, the drone will rotate. And if you do that, it'll go forward. So I'm kind of manually piloting it now. So forward, rotate. And then using the plus or minus, you can control the height. So I'm gonna press down, or I'm gonna press up, height, and then forward pilot. So that's what I'll use if I get stuck sometimes, um, and I only have the beacon, I can use this to pilot out of that situation. Now if I go here, it goes back into hover mode, and then it's showing the drone's battery here, it's showing that it's connected to the GPS, and then when I click follow mode, so I'll go over here to motion track, it'll tell me if it's following me based on the beacon's GPS, or if it's following me based on sight. So this will go from an eyeball to a GPS, um, and kind of show you what it's doing there. 
Now when I'm in motion track mode, I can use these arrows to select where I want the drone to follow me, and it's following my direction. So if I want it to follow me in the back and I start walking this way, it'll follow back left. If I put it in front, and I start going this way, it'll follow me in the front. If I go here, it'll swing around and start to do that as well. So all in all, this is a really helpful tool. Um, if you're ready to, to ever land it, I usually just press stop. I'll fly it up just a little bit, get it to stay in one spot, and then you just hold this, it'll say landing in three, two, one. Camera will look down. And then you can land it just like that. So that's what it looks like to use the beacon only. Um, I launched it with the beacon, flew it around a little bit, kind of showed you the settings, and then landed it with the beacon. So that's beacon only. I think if you're going to be doing action sports, the beacon is a must have. Uh, it makes the tracking so much more accurate, and it's really easy to use and just throw in your pocket and pull out and make adjustments. Um, another thing to note too is that the beacon does have like an, a loud audible beep. So if it ever does lose sight of you, if the drone kind of gets stuck in an area and doesn't know what it's doing, it'll make a loud beep. You can look down on the beacon, it'll display a message and it'll show you what you need to do to kind of um, address the situation. So that's really nice. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot to say on the beacon. Um, it works really well, it's really simple, and it's my favorite tool to use with this Skydio 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the controller out. I'm going to show you guys what the controller looks like, uh, what it has as far as functions there, and then we're going to fly straight up into the air and get some cool photos. Um, the sun is still a little bit high, but it's going to set in a minute, so maybe try to get some cool shots and uh, yeah, show you guys what that looks like. All right, so right here is a controller. I'll kind of just give you guys a quick run through before I do this. So when you open it up, this turns the controller on, then you can put your phone in here. Um, this is your home button. So if you have a preset home point, like on a map, you basically can see um, GPS, you can put in a home point. And then if you need to send the drone back home, you just press this. This is your launch or land button. And then close this for a second just so you can see better. This is height, up or down. Then this is rotate, left, right. This is go forward, back, side to side. Then on this side here, you have a speed boost button. So say you're flying forward or back. If you press this, you'll get extra power. It'll speed boost. Then right here is your gimbal adjustment. So you can tilt the gimbal up and down. Then right here, this used to be um, your EV comp, but now I think it's a height control after the latest update. So just up, down. And then here is a shutter button. So you can stop or start recording in video, or you can press and take a photo. And then basically what you do is you hook your phone into here when the controller arm is up and then you hook into this USB port and then you're all ready to go. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to um, put this thing in the air and then I'll show you guys what it looks like to pilot using the controller. All right, so this is using the controller here. Um, I am by no means a professional drone pilot at all, but I'll kind of show you guys um, what the features look like. So this is the gimbal adjustment up and down. This is your height adjustment. So up and down here on the height. Then you have your rotation. So you can rotate left or right. This is the speed, full speed, right. So if you're back here, and then if you wanna fly back, this is just normal back. Then I hit the speed boost to get super fast. Forward, speed boost it now. Speed boost, rah. So that's what it looks like with the speed boost. Cool. So they asked me not to test the range on this uh, today because it's still in beta mode, but they're shooting for a 2.4 mile or four kilometer range on this guy, um, which I think is pretty respectable. And yeah, I'm not gonna be able to test that today, but I'll still be able to kind of get a big overhead shot because I want to show you guys what it looks like to take some photos. So let's go ahead and go straight up. See how high up we can go. So this is pretty good here. Just, I didn't go all the way up. I just kind of went up to a nice spot. Um, I'm gonna tilt the gimbal down and then just take some photos for you guys. So on here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to photo mode now. All right, cool. So that's a quick little showcase of the controller and what it can do. 
Um, like I said, I am by no means a pro drone pilot at all. And I'm just trying to show you guys a quick rundown of what this has to offer and uh, kind of the features that it has built in. I do think it's going to be a great tool, um, especially for photography, like being able to fly up and take some nice photos and do stuff like that is going to be really cool. And having the shutter button right here on the controller is pretty awesome and the ability to adjust the gimbal. So works really well. Um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and grab this guy again. That is pretty much as many of the questions that I could think of to answer on this guy. Um, tried to show you guys all the settings, show you guys the phone app, all the different features that you have available to you, and kind of everything else that I could think of. But if I did miss something, please let me know. I'm happy to take some criticism and I'm going to do my best to answer all these questions because I want you guys to be really comfortable and confident on this drone and what you're getting into. So if you like the video, please let me know. If you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. I really appreciate it and it's been fun. Um, kind of seeing the channel grow a little bit lately and it's helping me do more of these videos so that's pretty cool so if you like these videos subscribe and i'll try to do more um, thank you guys for everything i really appreciate it huge thanks to skydio for sending this out to me um, i've had a blast with it and just learning day by day so yeah it's pretty awesome can't wait to see how it continues to improve with firmware updates and i can't wait to see what you guys do once you get your hands on it and start getting some awesome shots like i said I'm just a normal dude. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having fun with it and still getting some cool content. So I couldn't really ask for much more than that. So yeah, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you can. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. So you.